What's up guys, welcome back to another video here at Wall Street PR. In today's video, we're going to be going over CLS Holdings, ticker symbol CLSH. As you guys can see, very interesting chart. They did peak all the way up here at 38 cents per share. And this was back on uh, February 10th of 2021. So almost exactly a year ago, they reached that high. And since then, they have been in this pretty clear and steady, consistent downtrend, pulling all the way back down to about 6 cents here at the low before bouncing up to the current price of eight cents per share but before we break this down i do as always want to mention and go over this uh the company's background some of the recent news and give you guys kind of a general perspective of what they do before we break down the technicals and where i think they're going in the future so as you guys can see cls holdings is a diversified cannabis company that acts as an integrated cannabis producer and retailer through its oasis cannabis subsidiaries in nevada and plans to expand to other states CLS stands for Cannabis Life Sciences in recognition of the company's patent proprietary method of extracting various cannabis and converting them into products with a higher level of quality and consistency. The company's business model includes licensing operations, processing operations, processing facilities, sale of products, brand creation, and consulting services. And today the company, well not today, this was on Actually, this was today, excuse me. The company released a press release reviewing the financial and operational highlights that made 2021 the most successful and transform transformational year to date. And they did release their initial 2022 outlook. You can see it's titled here, 2021 highlights and 2022 outlook. Number one, despite uh, the can so despite the Nevada cannabis market decelerating in 2021, CLS saw net revenues increase 44% on a year-over-year -year basis, which is fantastic. That's exactly what you want to see, especially in a comp with a company in the cannabis industry. Number two, CLS entered into two important joint ventures, which should transform the company and add substantial revenue at attractive margins. Number three, City Trees achieved a 6.5% brand market share, according to BDS Analytics, with leading market share positions across key categories. And last but not least, number four, for calendar year 2022, they are projecting substantial net revenue growth while man maintaining current gross margins and increasing EBITDA. So obviously, this is fantastic news, guys. This is a pretty solid uh, future outlook, future guidance, as you would say. And this was an overall fantastic year for CLS. Uh, if we briefly touch on this as well, this is basically the same thing. Talking about their highlights, you can see um, they did achieve a year-over-year -year net revenue increase of 112%, and they did maintain their 50% gross profit margin. And the retail division Oasis Cannabis Dispensary saw a 20%, 26% increase in revenue compared to 2020. So overall, guys, great news. I think the cannabis industry as a whole is going to be one of the best performing future industries as more and more states across the United States and worldwide begin to legalize cannabis. Uh, obviously, that will positively affect all these cannabis-based companies, and they will see higher revenues, higher growth, and better returns in the next few months and years to come. If we take a look back over here at this chart on Webull, I'm going to go ahead and draw this in down here. If I can go ahead and pull this up uh, in one second. You can see, like I mentioned at the start of this video, Ever since this this high, they have been kind of in this channel that you can see that I just highlighted right here. They've been bouncing uh, on and off of it, but this is no doubt, without a doubt, I should say, a downtrend and a pretty clear one. I would p personally be waiting for a pullback uh, down to about maybe six, seven cents, which they just saw. Honestly, eight cents per share right here really isn't a bad buy. This is kind of their consolidation range where they have kind of you know dipped down but brought bounced back off of and then pushed to new highs. This is a level that they have seen in the past, but this was over a year ago that they were this low in terms of total price. But personally, guys, honestly, I wouldn't penny pinch. I know I said maybe six, seven cents, but I'd personally be a buyer and probably will be a buyer right here at eight cents per share. I think they have a great future. They gave great future guidance and growth projections. I do think the industry as a whole is fantastic, and that's honestly what I look for with investment is future industry growth uh, projections future company growth proje uh, projections, and then how the company is do doing currently. And then lastly, guys, I do want to draw on a trend line and give my first uh, price target for them. It's going to be right up here at about 16 and a half cents or so. That's my first price target for CLSH. I do think they will reach this level relatively soon, within a few months, 
and eventually I do think they will break that all-time high of 38 cents per share because they are looking pretty strong. They have a pretty good balance sheet, pretty good guidance team as well, and they are in that growing industry. But with that said, guys, be sure to do your own research before investing. Only invest what you can afford to lose. And if you guys are new here, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.